They really like, I call them a little fruit ball. I don't know, Some, they have apples, oranges, lemon, uh, sugar. Uh, wow. Spices. Like yeah, your cinnamon, cinnamon, your nutmeg, baking powder, and then you have your fruit that you grind up and you throw in there, put milk, and you make a paste, and then you fry it. Deep fat fry. It is not very easy when you first learn it. It's, <laughs> everybody that tried it said, that's it, I'll buy it. <laughs> that's right. Susie is our chartered member, one of our charter members that's still are with us. She still works every year. Her and her daughter, Julie Wade, uh, makes all the glazing for us, which last year was about, I think I ordered 300 pounds of powdered sugar. <laughs> and <laughs> they have a special mixer that they use, and Susie uh, signed the charter uh, back in 1953, so it's, we're gonna have our 60th uh, anniversary of being chartered soon. We got the most members after Katrina, when people wanted to hold on to their heritage. So we had a, a large influx of new members. I'm French, but I was married to Steve Rodolfich, and he's of Yugoslav descent, and that's how I got into the club. We were married 30 years, so I picked up a few Slo Slavonian habits along the way. I learned how to make pusheratas, you know. It, the organization's meant a lot to me, especially since my husband passed away. The women really, you know, they were there for me. And um, it, it's really been a great experience. They're a lot of fun to be with. You know, we laugh, we cut up. You saw us in the kitchen. The food is most important to us, as I'm sure it is to all other cultures. But when we have weddings, when we have weddings, even funerals, we make the we make the pusheratas as a delicacy because everybody down here loves them. This past year we made 210 pounds and we sold 1,393 dozen pusheratas, which is a lot of pusheratas when you see how we fry them in the little uh, fryers. We have a bunch of ladies that show up. It's uh, like an assembly line. They cook them, uh, they cool, we dip them, we let them cool again, we put them in the little wrappers and we box them and they're pre-sold. We take orders in advance and people start picking them up about nine o'clock in the morning. Actually, we started frying last year about 11 o'clock the day before. We got here at nine the night before to set up for it, and I left about a quarter to three last year. So, <laughs> all night, it's an all night job. <laughs> and we do it because it's the people's heritage, the people in Biloxi expect to have the pusheratas every year for Christmas, and that's what we do it for, is for the people of the Luxor. It's, it's a fun thing, too. We have fun. We have a lot of fun I at get Christmas together. time. Yeah. 